Welcome to Firebase release notes for August, where we cover big and small releases from Firebase. We have six topics today, so let's dig in right away. Firestore with MongoDB compatibility is now available in Firebase. This means that you can use existing MongoDB code, drivers, and open source libraries and tools with a Firestore database. This feature is part of a new Firestore Enterprise Edition, which also includes more than 200 new powerful query capabilities additional data types, new index types, and improved performance. To get started, you can create a new Firestore Enterprise Edition database either through the Firebase console or programmatically from the Firebase CLI. Another feature that went GA is Committed Use Discounts, or CUDs. CUDs provide discounted prices in exchange for your commitment to continuously spend a certain amount on Firestore operations for one year or three years. They are ideal when your spending on Firestore operations involves a predictable minimum that you can commit to for at least a year. We've also introduced two new preview features, the ability to clone an existing database at a selected timestamp into a new database, and query insights to view query performance metrics for your database. This dashboard can help you with things such as performance optimization, cost management, and stats monitoring. Now let's talk about route-based monitoring in Firebase app hosting. That's a new feature which allows you to specify up to 20 routes in your app that are important to you. And for each of them, it will show metrics such as number of requests, errors, latency, and CDN cache hit rate. If you want to see this feature in more detail, stay tuned to our YouTube channel as we'll publish a deep dive video about this in the following weeks. We've made some improvements to the Crashlytics alerts. You can find those in the Firebase console under Project Settings. You'll find that integrations with tools such as Jira, PagerDuty, and Slack can now be done at app level. There is a new velocity alert for ANRs, or application not responding errors, a common error in Android devices, and the velocity alert thresholds now include both a minimum number of users and minimum percentage of impacted users. Speaking of crash lyrics, version 14.13.0 of the Firebase CLI introduces two new MCP tools for crash lyrics Get Sample Crash for Issue and Get Issue Details, which allows you to get more details about a crash when you prompt an AI agent configured with the Firebase MCP server. That same version also introduces updates to how you can initialize Firebase Data Connect. There's now a non-interactive mode and a new option to use Gemini to auto-generate a schema and some seed data for your database. Starting in CLI version 14.12.0, there is a new Firebase init AI tools command, which you can use to configure AI coding assistance to work with your Firebase project. This command can help you set up the Firebase MCP server for direct Firebase operations and install context files that help AI understand more about Firebase. Last month, the Firebase Dynamic Link service was shut down. But before that happened, the Firebase Auth admin SDKs for Python and Go were updated to introduce a new action code settings dot link underscore domain parameter, which allows you to customize the Firebase hosting domain used in email action flows. A huge thank you to our open source community for these contributions. Last but not least, when using Firebase app distribution, you can now add a restriction on which Google account your testers can use to accept testing invitations, giving you finer control over which accounts have access to new test versions of your app. And those were all the updates we had for today. As always, the links to learn more about all of these releases are in the video description. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Rosario and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.